The Colonel Podcast. Hosted by Noah Norton. Hey everyone, I'm your host, Noah Norton. Uh, welcome to the Colonel Podcast, your source for reliable film and entertainment news. Um, how's everyone doing today? Did anyone talk to their mom today? You should always give, if, you, if you're lucky enough to have a mom, you should always give uh, them a jingle, but jeez, I had a tough one. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, and I'm sorry if my personal life's getting into this, but she just was reaming me today about, you know, still being single, you know, as if dating isn't hard enough in these times, you know. I'm like, Mom, I can't date. I got to go see Tenet. And she's like, you know, when are you, when am I ever going to not be your emergency contact? Oh, am I going to have to bury you one day? Oh, you know, so lonely. And I'm just like, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I'm married to my work. Though I obviously am very open to some female companionship. If that's on the table. But anyways, we're going to move on here and we're going to talk about our uh, quick bite section. So if you don't know, these are short little bits of news so that we can uh, uh, get you all caught up to what's happening out there. Um, So let's pop it, lock it, let's butter it down. All right, first away, we have Adderway General Season 2 has officially started production. And it will be adding new actors to the main cast. This is very exciting. The most notable casting addition was Danny DeVito, which was classically done before with a little known gem, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. And it is said he will be reprising his character, Dr. Mantis Toboggan. This could really spice things up. You you know me. I'm a big fan of Dixie D'Amelio. We're actually neighbors in real life. Yeah, yeah. Whenever I drive past her house at night... um, then we're close then. Uh, moving on. Thor 4, also called Thor Love and Thunder, will have its third act taken place entirely in the video game Fortnite. Now, I think this is really going to shake up the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Uh, I've been getting a little tired of that giant blue beam to the sky that they seem to end every superhero mo- movie with. So I think this is a great... Uh, uh, twist on the genre and the twist on the format. The director, Taika Waititi, has also added that we will finally reveal the identity of Noob Master 69, who made their first appearance in Avengers Endgame. And speculation has led me to believe this could be Christian Bale's character. Now, we've seen Christian Bale uh, transform his body before with things like The Machinist uh, to, to The Dark Knight. And how is he going to translate his body into a video game character? That's interesting. I think we're all excited to see what happens there. Um, Natalie Portman, you know, you're playing Thor. Uh, why don't Why don't we? Uh, uh, why don't you come on the show? We'll play Fortnite together, um, and then we'll cuddle on my couch and watch V for Vendetta. Moving on, uh, Addison Rae's upcoming "He's All That" film is currently looking for a male lead. So if you don't know, "He's All That" film that they're making, it's actually a twist on the movie She's All That, a 1999 uh, classic about how a jock tries to get this supposed geeky girl to be the prom queen. Uh, so what we're assuming right now is Addison Ray, the incomparable beauty that she is, will be taking um, a traditionally not as handsome man and turning them into a, a very attractive person. And and it's it's going to be intense to see who's, um, who's going to end up... Uh, Snatching the role. I imagine they'd want someone with some real sexual chemistry between her and Addison Ray. You know, someone that um, enjoys things that she does, like horseback riding or uh, watching a sunset on the beach or, you know, someone who has a tough exterior that maybe hides behind movie and film knowledge uh, but is actually a sensitive soul that just wants love. Um, obviously, I, I can't think of any actors that fit that bill. Um, if I put more time into it and hadn't spent all day riding my horse chestnut on the Santa Monica beach as uh, the sunset casting an orange glow over the waves, then I probably would be able to think of someone, maybe an unknown talent, with a heart of gold. Uh, the Good For Her section to be added on Netflix. Now, this is exciting. If you don't know what a Good For Her film is, it's when you're able to cheer for a female protagonist at the end of a film. Now, this doesn't happen much in movies, but there are some recent examples. Uh, Gone Girl, Ex Machina, uh, Invisible Wo- uh, Man, The Vivitch, Us. Uh, some people perceive Midsommar. As a, as a good for her film, uh, this actually isn't the case uh, because uh, the man in that, the boyfriend, was way more likable than she was. Um, Knives Out, 
is a good example. Uh, Ready or not, uh, we can only hope that soon uh, Netflix will be adding Tenant to that esteemed list as well. So that'll be great. Have you guys seen Tenant? <laughs> I think a lot of you haven't seen Tenant. I think a lot of you f***ing idiots haven't seen Tenet. I've come on this show all the f***ing time, and I tell you to go see... No, shut the f*** up. I'm talking. You need to see f***ing Tenet right now. Cinema is f***ing dying. And your kids are going to ask you, you little f***, where the f*** you were when this movie... When, when cinema died around it. They're going to ask what the f*** you did. And you sat in your little f***ing ass and didn't do anything. I almost got f***ing coronavirus for the f shit. You little f faces. I swear to God, I'm going to beat the shit out of each and every one of you. Give me a fucking re You already gave me the reason. You don't see Tenet in the next fucking hour. I'm going to go fucking curb stomp your face. Everyone who's watching this, that is an invitation to a fight. Meet me in the back of the Wendy's parking lot on Cahuenga Boulevard, you bitch, and I'll fucking curb stomp you. Elizabeth Decky. The Becky. Pretty hot. If you're not doing anything after this, I've seen the movie four times. Um, okay, we're going to cut to a break here, and uh, we'll see you in a little bit. Right. I'm going to try to understand it. Feel it. This is where our worlds collide. That looked pretty good, right? You should see it. All right, uh, getting to our next section, there's a quick review section. Um, not too much has come out here, so these are just kind of my thoughts and feelings about a couple of the sort of pop cultural things that are happening right now uh starting off first is freaky uh freaky is the film coming out in 2020 um let's gotta say right off the bat definitely a freaky friday 2003 ripoff um and, and i know that films take influence from other movies but they literally just took the name and took friday off of this so i guess what we, we should give it credit for not being specifically dated i mean not just a day of the week i i don't know i i, I thought it was good it, it was also just laughable that the main character, the actress, is so gorgeous, but she's supposed to be a loser in the film. I hate when movies do this, you know? We were supposed to buy that like, Andrew Garfield wasn't, you know, the hunkalicious man that he was in Amazing Spider-Man. I hate when they do this. Um, you need more Tobey Maguire-esque people, just some really ugly, strange, off-putting people in cinema. I like seeing that a little bit more, uh, except for the girls. Keep them hot. Um, but this is it, – it was so weird to me because I was like, this – she wouldn't have been a loser. She would have been bullying me, you know? She's a popular girl. Uh, mo most popular girls, in my experience, bully you, you know? I, I remember this one time in high school that happened all the time. Uh, so I had this, I had an acne problem. Most of us did in high school. And uh, the, the girls at school, this is so funny to remember. It's just a nostalgia trip. Uh, they ordered 12 large pepperoni pizzas and had them delivered to me to every period of class. And they, and I was like, why? Oh, first, you know, I'm getting a pepperoni pizza. I'm like, this is exciting. You know, a secret admirer or something like that. But there were no, uh, the pepperoni wants a, a company with your face because it's also greasy and boily. <laughs> it was just like, you know, oh, <laughs> classic high school hijinks. And it wasn't like the best birthday I'd ever had. But I, you know, I, I just, I, when I was watching the movie, I was like, oh, this is totally a girl would do that. And, you know, it's also the type of girl that would uh, give you wedgies when you're walking through the hallway. Uh, maybe, you know, slash your tires, you know, of the time they went to prom. And um, they said they'd go with you. And then the whole time, uh, they just leave you by the punch cooler and say, someone has to play punch guard. You're the punch guard, punch man. And so you just sit there and you're guarding the punch. And she's grinding and dancing with a lot of other dudes. <laughs> That's just like normal things that happen in high school. And I'm sure everyone had that. And so when I was watching the movie, I thought it was really uh, it, weird that that wasn't exactly happening. Because in my experience, that's a very common thing to happen. It was really good to see Vince Vaughn back. Yeah, it, it, it's been a while since so we, we haven't seen him. So 
it was really good to see him again. Moving on, uh, Mandalorian season two, episode three. Um, so I I haven't seen any of the Star Wars the Clone Wars show because I'm an adult, you know, because I'm not a freaking child. So I I, I watch cinema or you know TV shows that emulate cinema. So I don't really know who this Ahsoka Tana is or just some nonsense like that. I don't really know. Um, but, you know, it was a filler episode. What do you expect? Still 10 out of 10. Phenomenal episode. Phenomenal. Didn't need to exist, but it was great. It was phenomenal. However, there's something I want to talk about that stood out to me and something I didn't realize. This episode was directed by a woman. You know Bryce Dallas Howard directed this episode. Weird, right? Like, like I was watching it, and I'm like, wow, I, you know, a good episode. And then at the end of it, I was like, whoa. And then, you know, I Google, obviously, as you do. I'm like, all right, Bryce, male, Dallas Howard. And it kept coming back as actress and I guess now director, Bryce Dallas Howard. And I was just blown away. And now I'm starting to think, like, maybe, like, women can direct movies. Is that crazy? That's weird, right? Like, you don't think about that ever, you know? And maybe when they direct it, we get a more diverse perspective of... I won't go there. But uh, it was interesting. It was, it was interesting. All right, moving on to our Did You Know section. This is a deep dive into film knowledge that won't be found on IMDb. We have our team scour the internet, the dark web, everything to pull these uh, nuggets of wisdom so we can give them back to you. They come to me with all these different stories. I'm like, no, 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 yes, but different. How I'm going to do it? I'm going to take what you said, make it better. And that's what we do here on this film. So um, did you know... Damien Chazelle, the acclaimed director of La La Land, went on a murder spree after the 2017 Oscar mix-up. Fifteen people were found dead in the vicinity of the Oscar event that year, with one homeless man uh, under the 405 having an Oscar for best directing lodged in his skull. I personally think the reaction was justified. Hated Moonlight. I haven't seen it yet. Probably isn't that good. And apparently police haven't taken action because right when the, right when the murder got solved, the mystery got solved— he had just signed a deal to direct Babylon. And I think everyone wants to kind of see how that movie turns out before we take any legal action. So kudos to uh, Damien. Uh, if you uh, go see Babylon, you're definitely helping him uh, clear his name. Not that he's admitting any fault. You know, he, he he's a celebrity. He has every right to do this. But um, interesting fact about Damien Giselle. All right. Well, as always, I've been Noah Norton. I hope you enjoy this podcast. Uh, make sure to follow our Instagram down below. And uh, have a great day. Praise Zeno.